YouTube. It's your boy JB, Mr. Major Man, Mr. 504 Jesus from the Big Easy here to welcome y'all back to the showroom. And today I got a review for y'all. And before I get into the review, as always, I deeply appreciate y'all tuning in. This. And without any, 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 any of you, this channel would not be possible. And also, if you're not subscribed and it's your first time here, hit that hit that like button for your boy. Hit that notification bell and subscribe to the channel and also follow me on all my social media platforms if you haven't already. And yes, I am wearing my Nike snood mask for whenever I go outside. So if anybody is looking for this, um, I believe they're sold out on every major site. Um, Hibbert's had them sitting for a little while. So if I, if I do wind up eventually finding some, I will post it on... I will put in my link below and I will post it on my uh, my IG. So you might want to be following me if uh, you want to keep be up to date on that. But without any further ado, let's get into the shoe. And this shoe right here, I'm going to show y'all. And I think I'm probably the only one on YouTube that has done it right now. But y'all let me know if, I, if it is. As y'all can see, what do y'all see there? The Russell... Westbrook why not 0 0.3 in the splash zone aka the super soaker colorway as y'all can see on the box and the presentation right here ultimate range unlimited range and high powered impact and let's go right here you like I said the packaging is just phenomenal bro new right here no batteries required splash ages 0 through 99 got the ages 0 through 99 splash branding as y'all can see you got the jump man logo right here you got the westbrook emblem right there and as you can see the shoes are packed inside of this uh cardboard container y'all if y'all don't know about the super soakers um if you if let, let me just say this if you were born in the age raised in the 90s you had a super soaker you either had a super soaker 100 my personal favorite you know and everybody knows this is the 1000 i mean the two uh the 2500 with the backpack on there oh boy bro let me also explain this to y'all man this is probably showing how bad of a kid that we were I've heard a lot of stories of how how the people used to be with their super soldiers. Some people say they were putting salsa in there, alka salsa. I'm gonna just be real with y'all. We were just some bad little bastards because we did everything from put dye in the things. Hell, we even used to put hot warm water and bleach in super soakers and like, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna speak no more on that, but yeah, man. And they also had some dope commercials, man. Shout out to Nickelodeon and Fox Kids for having the best cartoon uh, toy commercials ever. But let's go ahead and get into the to the shoe. As y'all can see, is the Jordan Why Not 0.3 PE size 11. Style code is CZ3616. Color code is 100. The colorway is white. What this is? White, rage green, and vault. And the retailer was 170. That is a thirty dollar. That's thirty dollars more than what the original. Actually, I think that's forty dollars more than what the original uh, Why Not 0 0.3 cost. And this is actually my first Why Not 0 0.3 this year. Like I was, I really wanted that. I really wish they would have released the Splash Zone version that the 0 0.2 had last year because that was very dope. And as you can see, the box flips open like this. And as you can see on the inside, it has those plastic, uh, those plastic strings that, you know, usually hold down toys, keep people from stealing the toy. Uh, when I got the box originally, this was already loose. Like somebody already pulled it out. Let's see if I can get this up. Let's see. I should be able to. Cut a little of this out so I could. All 
right? Whew. It even smells like, it smells like a, a brand new toy when you get it out of the store. Like if you, if you're a 90s kid, y'all should know about KB Toys, Toys R Us, EB Toys, like all those uh, old school shops that used to specialize in selling these products. But man, bro, 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 these, these are fire, bro. Like, no cap, these are fire. And Russell, Russell Westbrook actually promoted these, I think, two or three days before they actually released. So, I'll show you the picture right here. He miles the shoe before it came out. But these are fire, bro. Fire. F I Y A fire. Man, I can't believe this. But let's go ahead and get into the shoe, man. Bam! As y'all can see, the Air, the Jordan, why not? 0 0.3 Westbrook Splash Zone Super Soaker. Bruh. No cap, bruh. Like, this is why I love Team Jordan. I love Team Jordan models too. Like, anybody who knows, I've had Chris Paul's. I've had, like, Chris Paul was my favorite uh, signature athlete for Jordan brand. Like, when they were, like, the. Chris Paul 2 is actually my favorite all-time model. But, yeah, man, the CB3 2, that's my favorite model. But, uh, man, especially the colorways he had when he was in New Orleans. But let's go ahead and get into the shoe, man. The Y9 0.3, the, the, this is technically the, I want to say the sixth shoe for Russell Westbrook because originally he, matter of fact, Russell Westbrook initially started wearing the 20... The 28, the 28 was his signature, the 29, the 30, uh, the 31, the 31 was also his, so that's the fourth. Then he also had his lifestyle shoe, which was the zero, no, the zero, the zero one, the zero two, and the zero three. And now he has his basketball signature, which is, this is his third, so it's technically his seventh model. But uh, his seventh model for Jordan Brand. So, uh, yeah, man, like I said, and like I said, this is a way, way, way different shoe than his, his first initial Y90 shoe. Because uh, that was just a bulky shoe. This is actually streamlined. It, it didn't change too far from the, from the uh, 0.2. But let's go ahead and get to the shoe. As y'all can see on the bottom, you have a clear outsole, and you can see you have that that stabilizer right here in the middle is not a flight it's not a true flight play it just feels like a regular tpu because it's like this is like it's soft like when i'm pressing it but uh as y'all can see and you also have the size tag which they didn't derive from they took from the second model as y'all can see it right there it has all the information even the style code and size and codes and everything they didn't go too far with that. You have a zoom air unit on the bottom of the shoe as well. As you can see, you have these tri-zoom bags right here. I believe it has a uh, zoom in the heel, if I'm not mistaken. I think it's, no, actually it's, it's zoom, in the, uh, zoom in the forefront. forefront. The midsole is comprised of a white phylon. Matter of fact, this don't even feel like phylon to be honest with y'all. But as you can see, it's white. You had those peaks going on right here. And also you have zoom rolled across the medial side of the shoe. And then going to the upper, you have a translucent, you have a translucent vault green or rage green uh, strap that, as y'all can see right here, has the orange Velcro on each side of the shoe. And it also said, I believe, what it says right here? I can't even see. I think it said, no, there's no words right there. So I'm not going crazy. And on the fork, going toward the toe cap, as y'all can see, it has that vault green. And if you look closely, they actually implemented water droplets on the shoe. If y'all can see that right there. On this, going on the way right here as well. Fix this light. see the water droplets right there has these off whitish orange tabs right there and on the toe on the inside of the toe you have that Westbrook 
emblem right there. And on the shoe, let me take these, take this out. As you can see, we have an engineered mesh going right here. And let me open the shoe up some more. You actually have white laces, white rope, round uh, over laces. And you also have more of that orange going on the tab with a green jump man. Up to the upper, you have no batteries required tab right there, which is dope, a dope touch on the shoe. Like they really went all in on this super soaker theme. And on the insole, on the insole, you have a orange insole with the splash logo and a vault green jump man. And let me also see what other little nuggets they got in there. You have, you have Westbrook's crust right there on the back, on the back of the tongue of the shoe. Also have an orange pull tab with Westbrook's signature going on there. And also you have the vault green inside and in, inner lining. And the lining is almost, it's close to being like how, how Harachi is made. Like with that inner booty, like a shoe inside a shoe. So it's not too far off from that, but as y like I said, y'all can see a lot of that engineered mesh going into the shoe. And also you have a Jumpman logo on that stabilizer and the Westbrook logo again on that, on the medial side of that stabilizer. On the opposite shoe is no different than this. As y'all can see, it's really no different. Same as the, the right shoe, same like that same with the water droplets coming on here as well like like i said they really went in on it i, I love the paid attention detail they have on this shoe and especially there's no glue marks no stains like the craftsmanship is just phenomenal on this shoe bro uh the sizing on westbrook zeros i recommend you go true to size and if you're a wide footer i do recommend you go up half a size because westbrooks do run snug uh, I've always noticed that about a lot of the shoes that he, that were, he, he was the forerunner for, like a lot of those shoes, those run very, very snug. And I'm a narrow foot person. But definitely, definitely a dope basketball shoe. And Westbrook line has actually been probably one of the most promising, uh, promising basketball lines out of the George brand that we had in a good while since the Mellows. But, um, let me know in the comment section below how y'all feel about these, man. Like I said, this is not a shoe a lot of people probably had their eye on or was really like had their heads up for, but the resale on these is steep right now. Like for real, for real. I don't know if they're gonna do another general release of this shoe. I just know Nike was the only one that dropped them. Um, and if they do drop these, they prop. I'm not 100% sure if they're gonna have the same packaging as that. But like I said, when you have themed shoes like this, like Westbrook, the Paul George with the PlayStation line, like these are dope concepts. Like when you have these, like you'll have a winner every time. And especially if you pay attention to detail like these with shoes. Like I know people be shitting on Team Jordan, but man, like I said, look, Team Jordan is no different than Team Nike, uh, Nike signature athletes. They all the same. But let me know in the comment section below how y'all feel. And I would, if I do an on foot of these, I will uh, do another video on that. But as always, I deeply appreciate y'all, man. And as always, stay true, stay fly, stay blessed. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. And I am JC Baby, and y'all in the showroom, and we are out. You did.